Hi friends, welcome back to Laptop Seniors. We are thrilled to have you back. So much so that we dressed to have a party with you. <laughs> <laughs> we are so grateful for all of you watching. We read as many notes as we can. I know right now we have a bunch to catch up on. But we're so grateful for you, especially our regular subscribers. We've heard from David quite a few times. Thank you. Stephen, Tina. Sorry, not Stephen. Steve. <laughs> you probably hate Stephen. Well, uh, or, or it would be somebody else. <laughs> or someone else. Uh, Bill, thank you. There's so many of you that write repeatedly and we really appreciate you and we feel like we're getting to know you and it's great. I hope you feel the same about us. There's a couple of people in particular that I'd like to shout out to. Max, you were very flattering and I appreciate that. That was very sweet. Um, one second. <laughs> Here's the old age catch up. <laughs> I know. Catch up. She looks so young. <laughs> Not so much. Yeah. A couple of you asked some other questions about Argentina, and yes, this video is about Argentina. Yes. And um, Elizabeth, you were saying that prices are up, and you're right. Red nose, red nose. Thank you for writing. You asked for more on Argentina, and here's some more for you. Thanks for being with so, us. So <laughs> today is on Argentina, and the big thing about this is that it's it's today's Argentina, and it's not conjecture. It's not oh I think, it's not I heard rumors. It's none of that. This is actual Argentina as of a couple weeks ago. We luckily just by accident had a contractor of ours was you know we mentioned in another video we were doing a bathroom, and he had just got back from Argentina because. He grew up in Argentina, in Mendoza, actually. We're going to be talking about Mendoza. And, uh, you know, so it was like, okay, we were on him like a blanket. You were just in Argentina? We, hey, we got to talk to you about a channel and blah, 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 blah. He didn't want to be on camera. Yeah, he was a little shy. He was a little camera shy, but he had so much good information yeah. for us. So what we did was, we, you know, we taped him, you know, our conversation, you know, on, on our phones. And uh, so we're going to play you his section, we're going to ask the questions lead up to it, but then you're going to hear his answers. And we have eight questions, which is going to take about 10 minutes, that's about all. But you're going to find that for those eight questions, what he's telling you about the way it is right now in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, and Mendoza, gives you a really good feel for what it's like if you were going to go down there, or what it's like if you actually are there. And you know, I'm sure you'll agree with it, um, because and you know he's a local. If you're, you know. And I'll bet these eight questions are probably eight questions that you have on your mind about Argentina. So we're hoping that they're all answered for you today. So the number one question was about money. Pesos, American dollar, currency exchanges, all of that. Very hard typically down there for years to get money. You'd only be allowed a little minor amount. It was hard to get money out of an ATM, if at all. And what it was, exchange rate, black market, black knots, you know, legal, it was a mess. So the big question is, well, what's it like now? What do you do? No, we use Western Union. That's the good thing about Western Union. They pay you blue dollars, not the real dollars. You transfer money from your account to Western Union. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Western Union was paying us 1055 per dollar, but when you go to the bank, they were paying you 838. Oh, wow. Yeah. We, when we got to Argentina, the first day we were getting 1,058, 56. When we left Argentina 11 days later, we were getting 1,001, 1,002. So you mm -hmm. transfer your money from Western Union, in a couple minutes, you can pick it up at Western Union mm -hmm. using okay. your debit card. If cool. you use your credit card or bank account, they charge you a fee of $15 and you have to wait five days. We kind of wanted to know more about the new president and the things that he's done. I mean, there have been so many things you hear about, and like lots of cuts of the federal bureaucracy, and uh, things are going pretty good. The inflation is actually starting to come down for the last two months. I think they actually hit their budget for like the first time in 12 years or something like that. A lot of money is piling into Argentinian bonds where 
they were like, man, that was the last thing on earth you'd want to buy is an Argentinian bond, but things have kind of done a 180. So there's a lot of that going on, but you really want the perspective of people in the country, you know, so we, you know, I had to ask like, well, what do your relatives think? They're there, you know, they're in Mendoza and you have friends in Buenos Aires, like, what do your relatives say about, you know, about the new guy and what he's been doing? Specifically since the new president guy, and he's made all the changes. Oh, so the new president has been yeah. in the presidency for four months only. Right, right, yeah. but he's done a lot in four months. Yes. Like, like, yeah, like he's inflation made, went down like 13, But he also he made it more difficult because everything went up, you know, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Did anybody say anything about it? Oh, let's just say over the last year that it's not safe. They, have they ever been robbed? No, it's anything? very safe. Well, depends where you go. Sure. Here it's safe, it depends where you go. It's the same in Argentina. Yeah, yeah. It depends where you go, it's safe here or not. Every time we get to an Uber or to a restaurant, you always they, talk to the servers. They give you the good opinion, the bad opinion. At the end of the trip, it was a 50-50 yeah. opinion. And that's kind of probably how it has to be because some people are going to have a hard time with it and other people, I don't know if this is going to work, but it's better than what we were doing. But he put a ton of police on the street. Like in Mendoza, because he said, I don't know if you've been in Mendoza. No, we haven't been there no. yet. 20 years ago, we went to Cerro de la Gloria. You cannot go there after six o'clock. There was a saying, you can get in, but you don't know if you get in out. <laughs> wow. We went there at 9.30 at night. Everything is dark. It's a mountain. You go up in the mountain mm -hmm. to see the city. We were seeing girls and women running, mm -hmm. using headphones, the phone over here in the arm. They feel we safe. saw three or four. When we go up, police cars in the top, police car in the bottom. I mean, in Mendoza, there's a lot of police. Hmm. I, don't, I didn't see much in Buenos Aires, hmm. but I saw a lot in, in Mendoza. Places that I was not going to go, and my family told me, no, you can go now. It is safe. You can go there at three o'clock in the morning if you Did want. Did he change that, like when he came in? Yes, he put a lot of money on, on safety. So there's a lot of police on the street. Interesting. I didn't well, see a lot in Buenos but they Aires. Could be, they could be plain closed. Yeah. But it was safe. Mm -hmm. We were walking in Buenos Aires until 10 o'clock the most. Yeah. We went to Puerto Madero at cool. 9, 9 30 o'clock at night. Until 10 o'clock, we always took an Uber, but you're still safe. Okay, so there's an understanding that some areas of Buenos Aires are not the safest. Tell us about Boca. Is it safe? Yeah, we you were there like around five o'clock is safe, but Boca is like yeah. two streets. Yeah, and around the train station too is not uh, good. Yeah. So we were getting to the train line and we look around. I told my wife, okay, we're not going across the train line. We're not going over there. We're coming back where Boca is. Mm -hmm. But even my daughter, she got the little tiny toy in her backpack and somebody took it. I was looking at all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, we were walking until when we left Boca, it's safe but you need to walk with your backpack in the front. Yeah. Uh -huh. You still need to you gotta be careful. walk alert. Don't, we call, we say in Colombia, don't give papaya, like don't call attention. Yeah. Nothing fancy, no yeah, rings, no, rings. Yeah. no hands free, no earrings, yeah. nothing that can cut the attention of somebody. No keeping your phone in the back, Yeah. Mm -hmm. keep it in your front pocket. I even do it here when I get you a red light and yeah. it's nine o'clock at night. You don't keep your windows open, Yeah. Okay. but it's safe. You can, I was walking with my daughters. They, I, we walked the entire Buenos Aires capital. Nueve de Julio, we went to the Recoleta, mm -hmm. to the yes. cemetery. You went to the cemetery. We I went to it. the Palermo, San Telmo. We San did the Telmo, Sunday yeah. market. You feel safe. We all know Mili has made some drastic changes since he's been president in a short few months. Uh, it would be great to know how locals feel about these changes. Are they welcoming them? Are they embracing the change, knowing it's for the better? Or are they resisting? What? I got two versions. I got good and bad. Okay, no, they'd be good oh, to them good. both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were happy because finally somebody had to do something good for the country. Yeah. So you needed to stop everything and start from zero, basically. So he stopped the free medicine because there was so much corruption that instead of pulling a couple people that he may think is bad, he just stopped it, clean house, and it's gonna take some time to take it back up. So no more free medicine for now because people was taking away the money. But I also got the opinion of the people, how are you gonna take the medicine for free 
because people need it. Those are the people who like to stay home and don't work. The people who are agree with him is the people working every single day right. to make money at the end of the month. Right. And right. they don't like paying for the other people. Yes, they understand <laughs> yeah. prices went up because they need to make up all the money lost. Mm -hmm. They understand that. So he also gives the option to all the corrupted politicians to give all the, like the history, what they were doing with the money. So they give them two options. Okay, you show me history of what you did with the money, mm -hmm. or you can go. So most of them left. We mentioned in a few other videos about Argentina when we were living there, that it was really cheap and it was, uh, you know, it, it was fantastic. And even our friends who live in Buenos Aires, uh, up until Mele, and, and he changed the exchange rate to, uh, to, to do away with inflation, and that's a whole other really deep subject that's uh, pretty interesting if you delve into it, but certainly not, you know, not for this video. You're not going to go down that road um, because it's, you know, it's pretty intricate. But anyway, um, you know, so the question is like, you know, we've got to wonder, is it, is it still as cheap as it was? I mean, you know, what... If you go there and you're going to start spending money, what happens? Prices were, I was not expecting the prices. Yeah. We were spending for breakfast, four people, $50. Not fancy restaurant, yeah, the no, basic no, yeah, restaurant yeah, by yeah, the yeah. street on the main tourist people. When we went to my grandma on the town restaurant, we spent 41 yeah. Gas is like three ninety nine, three ninety eight a gallon. Yeah. But all we've been like that. We've been in countries where seemingly there's a very different charge to people visiting the country to the locals. And we're wondering whether you've seen any of that happening in Argentina. If yeah. you are Argentinian, you live there. If you uh, I was lucky because I have the accent, uh -huh. so I didn't need to prove nothing. Yeah. If you are from town, from Argentina, uh -huh. you don't pay what tourist pays. Oh, for sure. like we went to the Teatro Colón. We paid 15000 to get in, four of us. They were charging... 15 bucks? Yeah, they were charging the tourists 38 Double, more than double. Uh -huh. Yes, and they didn't care. They tell you allowed. Uh -huh. If you tourist, you pay this much. If you're not, you pay this much. Wow. We went to Recoleta, we didn't pay, it was free. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the tourists cemetery? needed to pay. Uh -huh. uh, we went to another place. If you were from there, you pay two for one. The tourists paid one by one. So we did some zip lining. That was pretty expensive, but because it was two for one, that's why we did it. But the tourists pay regular price. Same in Colombia. So Colombia is the same thing. You always pay like three times the price because they know you're coming with money. That makes sense. They know that the locals, you know. One coffee tourists. shop. That was the only time they tried to do it to us because they saw the dollars on the inside the wallet mm -hmm. and they were charging me something else. A coffee doesn't cost more than $2.50. They mm -hmm. were trying to charge you $6.50. Mm -hmm. I said, no, give me a menu. So no, I'm not giving you a menu, so I'm not paying for the coffee, bye. Because coffee costs $2,500, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. $3,000 if you go to a fancy restaurant, mm -hmm. but no more than $25. Between mm -hmm. $23 and $25. They were mm -hmm. trying to charge you $65, that's $6.50. $6 mm -hmm. You don't even pay that here for that. No. This last one was sort of my question, but then I was trying to put myself into, you know, your shoes. Like, if you're going to go to Argentina, there's so many places to live there, you know, other than Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is awesome, but there's a lot of other places. And one other great place is Mendoza. And obviously, you know, he's from Mendoza, so, you know, what a great person to ask. What's cheaper, Buenos Aires or Mendoza? thousand times Mendoza. Yeah. We were staying in a hotel in Buenos Aires, very close to 9 de Julio, in the street called Paraguay. We mm -hmm. were paying a night, you know, 80, 85 dollars because we, in Mendoza, we were staying in a hotel, we were spending 45, 50. Apartment to rent, you spend about 700 to 800 dollars a month to rent an apartment in, in Mendoza. In Mendoza? One bedroom or two bedroom? My cousin lived in a two-bedroom apartment, but not in the main city, in the outside of the, of the capital. Great. If you want to live in the capital city, Mendoza, you're going to spend around eleven to twelve hundred. Mendoza is very small. I mean, my grandma lived like in the farm. It took us 15 minute drive from capital city. Mendoza is really nice. concentrated and then you have the mountains. 35 minute drive, you are, you are up in the mountains. <laughs>
we're really hoping that those questions we had were some of the ones you've had in mind and that you got some really good answers on them. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and come back and see us again because we've got an upcoming video on Argentina which is our friends who are actually living there and they have their perspective on some of the same questions and some new information. Ring that bell. <laughs> Bye for now. Ooh.